Well, Christmas can be hard work, and for more than anyone else, uh, for Father Christmas. And now scientists have come up with some theories about how he manages to deliver presents to children across the world in just one night. And with me uh, to assess some of the uh, science of Santa is Dr Martin Archer, who's a physicist at Queen Mary University, London. Uh, welcome to you indeed. Now, first of all, let's just look at the scale of the task. Uh, it's reckoned he's got to make... 366 million visits, uh, and that involves travelling seven and a half uh, kilometres, uh, which is the equivalent of ten times to the moon and back. Now, there are over two billion children. How do we get down to that figure of 366? So if you, you take an average of uh, two children per household, and the thing that really manages to cut it down is that Father Christmas or Santa is very much tied to Christianity and cultures that sort of follow that. So if we say Santa only has to go to, to those sorts of places, that can drastically cut it down. And I think the researchers actually yeah. took a few people off because they're on the naughty list as well. Oh, dear, I hope not. Well, let, let's just look at the, uh, the speed that he has to go, and that's the figure divide the distance by the 48 hours he's got to do this in and it, that calculates, uh, we calculate it two nights because of the uh, Orthodox calendar which has Christmas uh, in January at Epiphany uh, that gives Santa two days to do it in and that reveals that he needs to move at over 150,000 uh, kilometres an hour. So he has Two days, but he's got the full 24 hours both times. I mean, Charlie well, no, only operates yeah. at night, doesn't he? He is. So if you take uh, the assumption that a night is roughly 12 hours to play with, yeah. but if he does a trick, if he starts out, say, around New Zealand and then takes advantage of the time zones, travelling west through Europe and then to the States, that gives him, in one night, technically, whilst it's all dark, uh, the, a full 24 hours per well, night. All right, now, just how fast has he got to work? Let's have a look at this. Uh, this here, Mach 1, that is the speed of sound, so that's when we hear uh, sonic booms. Uh, and then America's fastest jet, the US fighter jet, that goes at just over Mach 5. I think it's Mach, is it? Mach or Mach? Yeah, Mach, Mach, Mach 5. Mach, OK. Yeah. But by most calculations, to do all the work for him, Santa's sleigh, have a look at this, has got to go at Mach uh, 100. And there is a there there is a problem with this, which is your average reindeer uh, operates at 15 miles per hour, which is a, yeah yeah well, on ground obviously on, gr on ground <laughs> obviously now and, and it gets it even more difficult. We have got an explanation for this, but in fact, uh, a reindeer. Uh, the heat caused by travelling at the speed of Mach 100 would actually uh, vaporise the poor reindeer, poor Rudolph. Uh, even if the sleigh had a magnetic field protecting it, the sonic boom caused would also wake all the children up. So, this is the, this is the big cut. How does Rudolph do it? Never fear. Uh, there is a solution. Santa probably uses various aspects of quantum physics and quantum mechanics. In particular, there's a theory that says, unless you see a single Santa, we can't know that there aren't multiple Santas operating everywhere. There we are. So, uh, lots of Santas, the same person in different places. Now, explain yeah. this, quantum physics. Well, yeah, so quantum physics is, is the world of the atomic and the subatomic, very, very small things, and it acts in a very peculiar way to our everyday sort of understanding, but it does seem to be how yeah. the world operates. I mean, I mean how does this work, then, this idea that you can be in several places you at just, once? Uh, well, I mean, you have the idea that, that particles, say, like atoms, we think of them as very much like a snooker ball, as, as being in a place, but we, we do see that they can, they can be in multiple places at once and, and, and decide to switch, and it's only when we actually observe them that it makes a decision. So as long as we don't see Santa... Which is the then, whole point. Which is the whole point, then kids across the world can get their presents. Right, so don't look we at Santa... Don't see Santa kissing. Uh, 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 what was it? I saw Mummy kissing Santa Claus. Just don't have a look. It doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. Stay in bed. Doesn't happen at all. So in the end, the truth is, science uh, makes it all possible. It seems that way, but obviously we don't know for sure because we haven't seen Santa. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Archer. <laughs>